Okay, pilots. We're gonna try to get a few pieces put on my tiger moth here. And I'm gonna show you what I've done when I'm a cockpit. So, <clears throat> let's get the tail feathers on it. I got it painted here. And my goodness, pilots, I just don't like that Rust-Oleum. That Rust-Oleum takes forever to dry. And I've got the bottom side here with a tan. And actually, it's a kind of a textured, a textured look. I don't know how you can't see it. There we go. I bought some textured paint to give it that canvas look, you know, just make it look rough. But you see how the, some of it gated, well, it was gator and came when I left it out in the sun to try to get that gun thing to dry. But it's got just a little bit of a shade difference in, in some of the green. Now, here we go. I've got my horns. You have to put your horns a little backing on it, you know, and put your horn on it. We've got some cables here. We go. We've got a push rods and control rods. We gotta watch out for. Them. Lines up with some pins, but I'm not gonna really look at it again real quick. Cause when you put the vertical on it, it's a little tricky. Then all these little line up channels here. We got our tail wheel, we got the Got the main hard body here. Line up everything with. Let's got a channel in the bottom here we gotta line up. Gotta get it started a little bit. And with me painting this thing now, it makes it even more difficult to put little stuff together sometimes with the paint. Now, I charged my light. Where is it? There it is. Tail wheel assembly. Oh, yeah. push in and then go down <laughs> and my paint still ain't dry okay I got that flush up now oh my goodness screws to line up with the bottom coming up from the bottom we're gonna flip this over. Well, we got some pretty long screws, if I'm not mistaken. Goes into that. Yep. 
20 millimeter screws. So that be long screws or Phillips head, coarse screw, coarse thread. Okay, pilots, I feel, I feel like I got a good bite on both of them here. I've got to look on the other side here and make sure I'm not really getting too tight. Maybe just a little bit more on up front. I can hear a little popping and I can feel that thing moving in a little bit. Let's give this one a little bit more. Okay. Now we've got to get this little bracket down here on the tail wheel lined up. Let's see what size screw they tell you for the man. <clears throat> it says an eight millimeter. Eight millimeter. Okay. That's two coarse Phillips head screws, coarse thread Phillips head screws. Now what I see is two that are two different size heads. One's got a big head on it. One's got a smaller head on it. Let's see if they see a difference in that. See 2.5. Okay, so that's gonna be a pretty good size head. 2.5 millimeter head. So they want a pretty good size head on that screw to support that bracket maybe. So we're looking at two like that. The head size, it's pretty good size. Uh oh, I painted that bracket green instead of tan. I give it a little depth. Slip here. I don't know. I don't like this. That screw shouldn't do that. Maybe, maybe I've got one a little smaller. Yeah. I don't think it's those two screws. this the, the threads was too big to go in and I don't believe that's the way it is want it to do because the hole that the screws going into is not much bigger Let's see here. Let's see if 
I think it does. I think it'll be cool. I don't feel like it's biting good. Just don't like it. Don't like it. I ain't feeling good about that. Not feeling good. So I'm gonna put that big head screw back in it and just kind of get it down in there. It didn't want to go through the first hole, so I knew it was gonna go through that second one. I think that's the one they want me to put in there. See what I've done. I see what I've done. I missed it. I missed that hole. I went in the styrofoam. I wonder if it didn't feel like it was biting nothing. But you know, we'll get this thing in here in a little bit here. So yeah, but let's get it started. Way to go, Dynam. There's another one of them Dynam masterpieces. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I can't find a screwdriver that fits these Dynam screws. Looks like the wheel is straight. I'll get another screw in there. Okay. Oh, excuse me. going to show you I got a few brackets here to put on but I'm going to show you something here the way they designed that tail wheel they got the tail wheel tied to the rudder and then it's got a foam hinge on the rudder now I've got some free wing hinges that you cut slits in it and then you make a T in it and then you just slide the, the hinge into the foam on one side and into the foam on the other side. You don't even have to cut, I, 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 I won't even have to cut the rudder, I mean, take the rudder off. I can just put all that together just make, by making slits in the foam. I'm gonna do that later. 
but I just want to get it together right now. Get a few things done. Now, we've got. Figure out which one of these goes on which side because they in a certain angle to go on it. I believe that one goes on that side. And we got a real small, I'm gonna make sure that is it. I should say about a four four millimeter screw. Seeing that eight millimeter, so evidently that's that. That's that screw that has the big head. I was going to try to put in the tail wheel, and my light's gone. I thought I charged it up last night, but I guess I did. And you gotta put these in the struts and the landing gear also. But I've got to take and cut one end of it off and shorten it. To rate the landing gear forward. Okay, put a little bit more on this one. Just a little bit more. We have to hold this right here. That's what we turn to.
they'd give me two of the same size, I think, because that angle is bent wrong. Proud moment. Another proud moment. Giving me a trouble there getting an angle right. <laughs> Could be trouble. And you, you got to have it right or is it throw that rip that horizontal wall whack it out? Oh, thank you, Lord. All right, let me take a little. Let me touch it here. Getting a little black on it. I know it's going to be wet. But we're going to let that set in there. All right. We got that on. Now, let me show you this right quick. I got my wooden prop on. And it is correct, the correct prop. I showed you the wrong prop in the unboxing. And my spinner just won't quite get all the way closed up. Let me see if I can get an angle here. It's just got just a little bit of a gap in it there due to the thickness of that prop. I think it'll be all right. It sounds like a old two cylinder tractor running and went up. Yeah, well, there might be something wrong. I'm gonna 
gonna hook my rods up later when I get a uh, receiver in it. But I've got a few decals on it. And I'll get that other support strut on it when it dries. And the next video, I'll be putting the wings on it and getting all them support strings and cables on it. And we'll put all that together. Now, I'll have to drop away here. adventure to put a tail feathers on. some more wing struts that I'll be putting on the wings here here's our landing gear and instead of the yellow tires I looked in my spires there and I, I found some kind of a light gray I think I'm gonna go with them instead of them bright yellow signal lights okay all right, here we go. Now, here's my radio. I'm gonna put my receiver. I'm gonna put in it. You can see how much higher I got my pilot sitting. Let's see. This is the front one. Here we go in here. And of course, I got the rear one. Here we go in here. Guns glued in, windshields are glued in. I'll put the pilots in now. Now, I know everybody likes to do it their own way, but I'm going to scratch some of this paint off here. I know I'm going to do that. Just kind of rough it up a little bit there. Take a little 90 degree owl. And I'm going to hold it in kind of like an angle and just kind of rip this stuff up here. Come back this way. And I'm going to use the foam here. I'm cutting up, you know, making a base. Do pretty much the same thing, just rough it up. And I use this this foam tack here to put my base on, and it's it's holding pretty good. I mean, I pulled on it pretty good there. Most of the parts that you put on this tiger moth it has screws. You put, they put this glue in there, I guess, just to get the windshield glued on. There might be a couple of little things you got to put some more glue on. I take up, I took up that T-bar. Do what I've done so far. Try getting facing forward. Yeah. I'll strain these off. And get my other TJ. I think I'm gonna need some more. Get 
it was good because they got that stuff all over the place. Just all over. It was exactly what I wanted it to do. Just let it dry and it might rub right off. slide him now wait a minute I want him to be a little bit forward I didn't want him to be all the way to the back I did want him to be facing forward And then this guy is going to be facing back the other way. Trying to push some glue down in them holes. Rub it in, rub it in. this guy all against the back. screws here left over. I'm going to just leave this going free here. Could glue it like that if, if you know once, once it's in the plane it'll probably set something like that so I might glue it up like that I don't know I just leave it free moving
Okay, pilots, to the next episode, I'm out.